Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay. Um, I just wanted to make a video because I thought it was really, really interesting. Um, <coughs> the guy in the middle there is C.T. Studd. And he was a famous cricketer in uh, Victorian England. Uh, and he was a brilliant cricketer. But anyhow, he became a Christian. And he dedicated himself to mission, to being a missionary in China and Africa. And it it was um, those are the missionaries C T studs on there. Uh, they were cricketers, as you can see, and then they be dressed as Chinamen and went off to be uh, Chinese missionaries. These were Cambridge uh, cricketers. I think they went on to play for England, um, and uh, it's amazing, really. But anyhow, C T stud dedicated himself to mission and he did it because of an atheist and this tract that an atheist wrote had a powerful influence on me as well uh, the atheist wrote this and this is what CT read it is said did I firmly believe as millions say they do that the knowledge and practice of religion in this life influences destiny in another religion would mean to me everything I would cast away all earthly enjoyments as dross earthly curse as follies and earthly thoughts and feelings as, van feelings as vanity religion would be my first walking waking thought my last image before sleep sank me into unconsciousness i would labor in its cause alone i would take thought for no for the tomorrow of eternity alone i would esteem one soul gained for heaven worth a life of suffering earthly consequences should never stain my hand nor seal my lips, earth, its joys and its griefs would occupy no moment of my thoughts. I would strive to look upon eternity alone and on the immortal souls around me, soon to be everlastingly happy or everlastingly miserable. I would go forth to the world and preach it in season and out of season, and my text would be, What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mr. Sud said, Mr. Studd said, after reading this, I at once saw that this was truly consistent Christian life, and when I looked back upon my own life, I saw how consistent, inconsistent it had been. I therefore determined that from that time forth my life should be consistent, and I set myself to know what the God's will for me. But this time I am determined not to consult with flesh and blood, but just waiting until God should show me. And then he became uh, a missionary uh, through reading that. Um, and I've read that. Uh, while I was on retreat and it's just blown my mind and I want to be like C.T. Studd and dedicate my life to preaching the gospel so the atheist who wrote that has had a big impact on my life um, so basically that's how atheism has changed my life um, an amazing story about an atheist writing a tract that actually sent C.T. Studd to give his life for mission and also me. Thank you for listening and take care. So I hope everyone who knows the Lord is dedicated to mission and as an atheist I hope that you come to know the Lord and dedicate your life to mission too. God bless.